Imagine a little creature named Gopher who loves to dig through piles of information and bring you exactly what you're looking for. Gopher was invented at the University of Minnesota, where their mascot is the Golden Gopher, and it's a clever way to search for and retrieve information using a text-based interface. Think of Gopher like a treasure hunter that helps you find hidden gems of knowledge. It works by using a client-server structure, where a special program called a Gopher client is used to search through Gopher servers. These servers are like treasure chests filled with documents, articles, programs, and other valuable information. But unlike the web with its flashy hyperlinks, Gopher uses menus of links to navigate between documents and programs. It's like flipping through a book or exploring a map with different paths to follow. It's simple, straightforward, and easy to use, even for schoolboy children. Back in the day, Gopher was becoming really popular on the internet. The University of Minnesota even started a licensing program for it in 1993. But then something new came along called the World Wide Web, and it quickly stole the spotlight. With its fancy hypertext and colorful images, the web became the go-to way for people to search and browse for information. But don't worry, Gopher is still around. There are still some servers and client programs that use Gopher technology, and you can still experience the thrill of uncovering hidden treasures with Gopher's simple and efficient text-based interface. It may not be as flashy as the web, but it's a unique piece of internet history that's worth exploring. So, if you're curious about the early days of the internet and want to discover a different way of searching for information, give Gopher a try. It's like having your very own digital treasure hunter to help you dig up knowledge and explore the internet in a whole new way.